Yo what up guys I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel and finally we got some official pictures of the Curry 8. So remember a long time ago I believe this was like six to eight months ago Steph Curry was uh, like I guess filmed when he was practicing and we got a glimpse of kind of like maybe I'm, I'm guessing it was a prototype because it didn't really look like uh, the same shoe that's leaked right now right. And then, you know, we've been seeing kind of some leaks and then we actually got some leaks and now these are official pictures of the Curry 8. And we also had the tech specs, remember that? The tech specs are pretty dope and reading the tech specs has me really, really excited, right? So let's just take a look at the lateral side of the Curry 8. And this colorway is pretty dope, you know, uh, it's a white and gold colorway. I'm not sure if this is going to be the first one that comes out and also release date, we're not sure, but uh, since the official pictures are out, I'm guessing maybe it'll come out in a couple of months, maybe this month, next month, maybe in the next two months. I shouldn't be too excited though, but I am um, because uh, we'll, we'll get into all that, right? So the lateral side, I mean, just aesthetically, I mean, I like it. To me, the design seems very, very simple. And uh, everything that's on this shoe looks like it has a functional purpose as well. A lot of you guys were saying it looks like Skechers or just some runners. And to me, that's not really a bad thing. You know, if it looks like a running shoe, why, oh, that's not a bad thing, right? Like, if it looked like the Epic React kind of, I would be like, oh, that's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, yeah, so there's the lateral side. And looking from the top, you can see the materials very, very easily and very clearly. And it looks to be a very, very nice knit upper. That's a welcome, welcome change from the Curry 7. I mean, the Curry 6 was pretty damn nice. I mean, the Curry 6 had super nice materials. You know, it was glued down a good amount, especially here on the lateral side. You can see all the fuse and stuff like that for lateral containment. But here in the toe box area and also the material here in the tongue was actually very, very nice, thin and stretchy. So it wasn't a huge deal. Uh, it looks like the Curry 8 has a little bit more ventilation like if you look uh, from the curry 6 there's really no ventilation holes if you look at the epic react you can see all the ventilation holes and that's what the curry 8 looks like obviously the curry 8 is a one booty upper and then on the medial side you also have that like a uh, weird synthetic material that's gold and then the back and the heel you also have a little bit of that and obviously on the lateral side you have uh, that gold material and that gold material is functional you know it act obviously gives you more lateral support and a lot of you guys were saying it kind of reminded you of the jordan 11 i guess i guess a little bit you know and uh, for some reason a lot of you guys really didn't like the design of the curry 8 for i don't know why i really like it and of course price we don't know what the price is going to be but i'm guessing maybe like 140 150 uh, they keep upping the price of curries every single year by $10. And I believe the curry 7 was like 130, 140 bucks. And the curry 8 looks to have like new technology, which I'm pretty damn excited about. So because of that, I'm, I'm guessing they're going to up the price and it's going to be like uh, like 150 bucks, I think. And I guess we'll go over the tech specs. So going over the tech specs, I'm really, really like happy uh, for what Under Armour is doing with the Curry 8, right? So I guess this entire past year, we've been seeing some good performers and I guess that's about it. And I mean, obviously if a basketball shoe has good performance, I'm not really gonna complain. But I mean, out of all of the signature shoes that have come out, there's really none that had new tech, like a new outsole, which I've been saying, you know, uh, we need a better rubber compound for dust. Uh, we need, I don't know, a new zoom unit or new cushioning system or, or a new material. You know, something new on a basketball shoe. And that in 2020, this past year, we haven't really seen anything new. I guess besides the PG4 and like the Zoom strobo or the Air strobo unit, which was awesome. I really, really like that. Um, but then like, you know, Nikes and like companies have been going away from knit material, which isn't a bad thing. Um, I mean, knit is kind of hyped and I, I feel like it's a little overhyped, you know, because you can get the same thing done with like, the KD5, you know, I really had no issues with this once it's broken in, <laughs> you know, at first it, it pinches a little bit, but you know, it's thin, it's very, very supportive. And um, I mean, it gets, it gets the job done, you know, and same thing with the Curry 7, you know, with this mesh material, it wasn't a bad like material, you know, it was pretty comfortable on foot, obviously not as comfortable as a knit, but you know, it got the job done and all that. Um, but I guess I'm pretty happy to see knit is back on the Curry line. And uh, okay, so, <laughs> Sorry about this, but I'll get right into the actual tech specs. So here it says the greatest performance improvement in basketball forever, ever. 
So uh, that's a pretty bold statement, especially coming from Under Armour, but I do kind of agree, all right? So it says no slip grip, which is pretty damn cool because I don't like slipping when I'm playing ball, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So them saying no slip grip is dope, but you know, all companies do this, high abrasion rubber, and you know the companies sometimes are like, you know, the new rubber design is gonna help with stopping and stuff like that. You're never gonna slip. So I mean, eh, it's kind of hard to believe them on this, but it says competitive advantage in traction and they have actual statistics. So it says 22% more traction than rubber, which is dope. Essentially obsolete rubber. Damn, doesn't squeak I I mean, doesn't squeak isn't a huge deal. I like to have a nice little squeak in my shoe, but you know, uh, I mean, if, if it doesn't have a squeak, but it still has good traction, I'm not really gonna complain, right? 9.3 ounces. That is insanely light. That's literally a running shoe, a freaking running shoe, which is insane. You know, 37% uh, lighter than all signature basketball shoes on the market, which is insane. I mean, Curry's have always been pretty damn light. I mean, the Curry 6, let's check, is, yeah, 10.83 ounces, which is insane. The Curry 7 is 11.82, right? So the Curry 6 was 10.83, and then take out 1.5 ounces from the Curry 6, and you have the actual, actually, no, that's not true, because the Curry 6 would be heavier because my size is very, very small. They're probably using like a, like a size nine or a 10 for this. My size will probably be around eight point something ounces, which is absolutely insane. That's like, that's like the Epic React guys. The Epic React is like eight, no, 6.91 though. <laughs> it's not gonna be on the level of the Epic React, but it's gonna be one of the lightest basketball shoes ever. You know, so that I'm pretty excited about that. Insane cushioning. Okay, so Under Armour saying this is not something to get excited about because uh, their cushioning setup isn't very, very nice. You know, they, they say a mix of hover and micro G or whatever. And, you know, usually most of the time it's not nice. It's super stiff. So right when you read that, you don't get too excited, but then they give you actual like numbers. So replacing rubber with space aged foam increases comfort, cushioning, and court feel by 17%. It doesn't say anything about bounce though, unfortunately, but you know, that's okay. As long as it's soft, and as long as it's low to the ground, I I'm not really gonna complain, you know? So basically what they're saying in the Curry 8 is there's no rubber outsole, which I really don't mind. I don't really care as long as it has good grip, right? But then the midsole is something that's not like durable at all. You know, if you look at traditional foams, I don't know, obviously they did some uh, testing and stuff like that, hopefully. Well, I'm sure they did, right? If you look at the actual outsole, it's basically the foam. There's, there's no rubber, you know, like it, it, for example, in the Epic React, you guys see that they put a little bit of rubber. I mean, uh, rubber, obviously the outsole takes up a good amount of like weight on the shoe as well as the midsole. So decreasing the actual like rubber on the shoe decreases the weight. So, um, but I mean, durability does suffer a little bit. I mean, the Epic React, the, the midsole is like tearing off and stuff. And also I've actually played in a shoe that has all midsole. It, it was a brand black. Blackhawk, I believe was the name. And the shoe didn't have any rubber on it, on the outsole. It was all midsole. It had a weird like aero traction pattern to it, but I remember that traction being insanely good. I never had to worry about dust and the bite was insane. But the thing was, I literally ate through that outsole in like three runs, like three days. I was playing in it in a couple hours each day. <laughs> and the outsole literally was just the foam. The traction pattern wasn't even on there. And then not only that, but the outsole, or I guess the midsole, ripped off so it wasn't durable at all so uh, i mean obviously if under armor is going to put this on curry shoe which is literally one of their biggest shoes i'm sure they did the research and i'm sure this is going to be more durable than that but i mean if you re look really closely at the outsole the actual groove it doesn't even look like it's deep you know it looks pretty shallow and i, I just I'm, I'm very very skeptical at the durability i mean obviously i probably wouldn't even recommend it for outdoor use but of course we'll have to see on that. In the middle of the outsole, we can see like this gold plastic shank plate with the Under Armour logo. And yeah, I mean, if you guys remember the Epic React does a basketball, I played ball in this and it was incredible. You know, uh, the, the cushioning was insane. The traction was really, really good. The material was super nice with this knit material. Very, very stretchy. Fit was good. It was very breathable, which I liked. The only thing was obviously the support wasn't that good because it's a running shoe. You're obviously not gonna get a lot of support from running shoe. But uh, other than that, I mean, in that video, I said if they could put something here, this would be an incredible ball shoe, you know? And I feel like 
you know the curry 8 might feel something similar to this you know hopefully the cushioning is a little bit nicer and if you look at the cushioning it says it's flow so obviously it's a new compound it's a new cushioning if you look on the medial side it says under armor flow on the actual midsole so uh it's a new compound hopefully it's nice please on number i hope you guys put a nice cushion in there because i mean i've been getting excited every single curry it's like oh the new micro g or the new hover cushioning you know and it's and i get super excited i'm like oh that sounds nice <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's a dual blend cushion or whatever and then you get it and it's like not that nice so um i don't know i'm not gonna get my hopes up too much up for the cushioning but i don't know i still am kind of excited about it and also another thing that you guys were saying uh, in the comments on Instagram was that, I mean, rip to your ankles, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously Curry has issues with his ankles, but most of his shoes have been lows. I mean, besides the Curry 1, 2, and 3, I guess the 4 with the knit thing that kind of goes up, but that knit material was super thin and f like flimsy and not supportive, so you didn't really get a lot of ankle support, and obviously the 5, the 6, and 7 were all lows right so you're probably wondering why is Under Armour giving curry who has ankle issues a low right and the answer is you don't really need a high in your shoes you know so if you look at you know the kd5 and also the lebron soldier 10 which have phenomenal ankle support you guys see how like high on the ankle it goes so obviously that's good for ankle movement restriction so you can't really move your ankle freely right for the most part that's actually not good for your knees because you know when you land you're putting a lot of force on your knees like for example if you land like this uh, and you don't have any type of ankle movement your Achilles and your calf muscle is not gonna absorb uh, like really any of the impact because you can't move your ankle so you're gonna land like this and then all the force is gonna go on like, basically your knee and that's not good so that's probably one reason why they're keeping it a low and also another reason they can keep it a low is because it's a low base, you know, it's a low, low to the ground cushioning setup. You have an outrigger, they keep the outsole and the midsole wide. So uh, you have lateral stability and that helps a lot. You know, uh, obviously if you, you know, step on someone's foot, you're gonna roll it no matter if it's a low or a high. So that doesn't really matter all too much. I mean, obviously uh, if it is a high, it'll probably do less damage. Like if you have that ankle movement restriction, you have an ankle brace on. I mean, which Curry plays uh, with an ankle brace with his lows. So, I mean, it's not a it's not a huge deal that it's low, especially if you're trying to watch out for ankle injuries. If you're prone to ankle injuries, uh, you probably wear an ankle brace. Not only that, but also like work out your ankle to build the muscles and tendons in that area. But anyways, enough about that. The Curry Eight, I'm super excited about. I feel like it's gonna play a little bit like this with like better support and all that, but I am skeptical on the outsole and I guess the midsole being soft. Hopefully it is, but we'll have to see on that. And aesthetics, I do like. Uh, so tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.